I'm sure it's nothing you don't like Hey boys, what's going on? It's your boy Klazo here today guys and today I'm bringing you another duelist video uh, This is gonna be my last spoiler video for rise of the bloodborne uh, After rise of the bloodborne comes out We'll probably do some deck techs and cool stuff like that But for now it's gonna be my last spoiler video because the set releases tomorrow I'm pretty sure there's no more spoilers so I hope you guys enjoyed them so far. If you guys also haven't uh, looked up how the orb system works for the new set, definitely check it out on PC Gamer. It's very interesting and it's a lot different from the past expansion. I'm not going to go over it, so uh, check it out. It's definitely really cool. But anyways, as you guys see on the screen here, I got a card up here. And this is Enfeeble. And this is the first card we're going to go over. And this is a Vaynar spell. Um, and this is basically pretty self-explanatory. All minions become one once for three mana. And that's pretty dope. We have another card in the game like this. Two of them. One's Pandemonium. And the other one is uh, Metamorphosis. And those two are a bit more high statted. And they do, they're do they a little bit different than this one. This one does not transform your enemy minions. It just makes their stats 1-1. One, one. So you still have that, um, you know, you still have that Mara Healer on the field that can deal 5 damage to you. And then heal them uh you know, plus five, plus five. So you gotta be careful when you're using this card. But, you know, ob there's the obvious combo that a lot of people already talked about with this card and Blister and Scorn. You can wipe their whole board, wipe it clean, which is really, really, really dope, to be honest. Um, it's definitely a very clean way to wipe the board. And it's something that we're gonna see in a lot of control lists because you know they're trying to make control a thing this set and I kinda hope it does. I'm more of an aggro player myself. I love Vitruvian, I like Obelisk and things like that. But it would be nice for the meta to slow down just a tad bit, just to get to those get to those like later games where we can see those bigger drop creatures come out and things like that. Just some cool stuff. And definitely there's not really a uh, spell kind of list going around right now. You know, there's spell high and then there's kind of control fey here and there. But with these new cards that uh, Vaynar's getting, there's definitely going to be control, a control Vaynar list. I'm not going to say fey because we don't know if it's going to be fey or Kara. We'll see what the meta goes to. Uh, but this is a dope card. It's definitely something to be worried about if you're playing Vaynar and you're, you're throwing down all these Iron Cliff Guardians here and there and they pop this out and blister and scorn you. You're done. You're done. But so be careful. Be careful, guys. Anyways, so next card we're going to talk about is on your screen right now. Boys, we got ourselves a Grandmaster, and this is the best one of them all. Uh, seven, ma uh, seven mana, Grandmaster Noshrak, or Noshrekt, as we should call him. He's a 4-7 legendary minion for uh, Vitruvian, clearly. He has a blast in flying, and here's the interesting part. The enemy general takes double damage. Now, that's not just double damage on him. That's his ability. All your creatures do double damage to their general. Like... I don't even need to go over combos because everything combos with him because everything's doing double the damage. So if you're running an obelisk deck and you got all these three three spawning because uh, you got Fireblaze Obelisk, now they're doing six damage. Six. Crazy as hell. I mean, now you, you could potentially see a Jax deck, um, you know, pop Jax down the next turn, drop this, everything deals double the damage, which is a really inefficient way of running Jax, in my opinion. I don't, I don't think that'd be a good combo, but like, it could be there you know uh this is a card that i'm definitely going to run in all my vitruvian decks probably take out dominate will and put this guy in probably keep my uh, amara healers in the deck and this this is going to be crazy amara healer could technically i guess do 20 damage in a turn because you could hit him for five they it does 10 they somehow kill it and then it takes another 10 from its ability like that shit's crazy so be careful this card this card's nuts if you're playing if you're playing against Vitruvian, you best hope to God you kill them before they throw this down or you use Enfeeble on it or something because this shit's going to be crazy when they drop this. I'm telling you, this is going to be a must-have in every deck. Now, the part that I didn't really go over, it does have Blast and Flying, which is really nice because you can get out of the battle. Your ability stays in, so you're like, you don't have to worry about Magmar hitting you with an Egg Morph. You know, you can get out the battle, still do damage on them, and all your other creatures doing damage because of this card's ability. This is a super dope card, probably the best card spoiled so far, in my opinion. A must-have in every Vitruvian deck. If, if, you're, if you're a Vitruvian main... You best be running this card and repping it because this card's dope as shit. My favorite Grandmaster so far. Uh, I I'm super excited. And this compared to Grandmaster Embla, you can see 
uh, how how powerful this is. Grandmaster Emblem is powerful too in control decks, but this is super powerful in like aggro kind of decks because you could just, oh my, this is your game ender. This is your game ender. If they don't deal with this, you won the game. I don't get how you lose with this. You're dealing eight damage a turn with him alone because he has blast. You're shooting blast across the map at him for eight. How do you lose when you're hitting him for eight damage? You don't. This is a great card. Run this card. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you guys enjoy this video because that's really it. Uh, if you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Like I said, this is my last spoiler video. After this, we're going back to the normal ladderings, uh, funny deck decks, meme decks, uh, serpenti decks that I have coming out. We got some cool shit that's going to be coming out. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And as always, I'm your boy Klaus. So I hope you guys keep on dueling, and I'll see you guys next time.